Anyways, oh fuck, I forgot to change the category. Let me change category real quick. Oony Oons back in action. Done. There we go. Let's fucking go, dude. Continue without saving. Um uh, Memory card slot be. one. Been pulled over three times Toto. I think he's onto something here. That's my thing. I've been pulled over twice. Granted, I haven't been driving as long as Chocobo. I got my license a little bit later, but like But yeah, dude. Twice. Twice in my own vehicle. Once was in someone else's vehicle, and that was because their license plate light was out in their vehicle. And didn't tell me. So like yeah. But in my vehicle is once for speeding and once for an absolute bullshit reason. <laughs> like that literally the only option? What's the point of having a whole option screen? A ban- Oh, okay, there is more shit. Sound effects vibration? Is vibration turned on or off? It's on. Cheat code, bonus features? English languages only? I'm guessing these are like videos or something. I'm not gonna play those, cause that could be bad. Credits, auto save, stereo bank. Uh, I'm sure all this shit's fine. Fuck it, I don't care. How many times was Object pulled over? He was getting picked on there for a minute. Yeah, uh, he moved from one state to another, and uh, the cops didn't like the fact that he was still registered in his old state, so they were like following him around and shit. Been legit ones, but all the other times were something goofy. Once they saw, oh, it's a white kid <laughs> on way to work or something. <laughs> Hmm. Are we trying to catch him? I imagine we're trying to catch him, right? Oh god. Okay. Ah, fuck. Ah, Jesus Christ, dude. We go fast. Ah, okay, it's fine. Oh, is, is that like number of lives up in the corner? We're good. Oh, fuck. <laughs> 205. That's speeding right there. First was for speeding when you were 16, then you had to get a job to pay for the ticket and haven't been working since. This is bullshit. <laughs> That's your villain origin story there. <laughs> First was for... Hey, what's up, man? We're talking about getting pulled over. Hopefully. <laughs> fuck, sorry. Hopefully it's not like bad luck for you or anything. <laughs> oh. Wait, what? Did it not? St oh, okay. Yeah, we're good. Let's just play the actual game. What's the actual game? I'm guessing it's like a mix of like mini games just from the look of the back of it. Like it looks like just a bunch of screenshots of like mini games. Oh, camera does not like that. Okay. Five huge locations with ton of exciting challenges. Interact with your favorite characters. Test your skill with fun minigames. Wear outrageous costumes. Let's go. Soon the whole world will be helpless before me. Watch as I transform you into my singing swave with this, the magical blue monkey diamond. Not if I have anything to say about it, evildoer. They're Today filming a movie, aren't they? The fury of my oversized foam latex muscles. The girls love them. Hold it. Hold it? Yes. Oh, they're pitching a movie. Mean, okay. Hold it. Don't you want to see my righteous fury? It's really righteous. Daffy, I'm afraid you're just not action star material. Hmm. Well, I guess we know what 65 years of loyal service is worth in this town. Thanks a lot, Mr. Moral Support. I, I have something to say, Nate, but... It's a smash hit. I love it. And to think I already went out of pocket for this prop diamond. Five bucks at the pawn shop. Why, it's the real blue what? monkey diamond. Okay, so it's not an original concept, but... Did you say real? Yes, real. 
At last, I've found it. I... The evil chairman of Acme Industries. I began by dun, taking dun, dun. over the studio that gave my company such a bad name. And now, with this diamond, I can turn everyone into monkeys and conquer the world, starting with the two of you! <laughs> you start with me? A Hollywood executive I want no responsibilities. Should we be surprised? Nah, but the mask was a nice touch. <laughs> huh? Well, that wasn't supposed to happen. Big diamond. This Big fucking diamond. has teleport tech? Yep, and dangerous in the wrong hands. So what do you think? You up for saving the world? Well, Smurl, that thing's worth a fortune. <laughs> Get back here, you little lifetime of total financial security. Did someone say security? Wait, Sparky, after them. Andale, andale. I'm so sad they didn't, like, cut back to Porky Pig finally saying security. Anyways, uh, Nate, what I was gonna say was, <laughs> paint not matching in cracked windshield, there was no driving infractions. But, like, they wouldn't know that your paint didn't match if they weren't already running your registration for something. So maybe it was the windshield that led them to, like, check up on you to begin with? I can't really say for sure, but obviously there was something, right? You either did something or whatever for them to look into you to begin with. <laughs> that was a very short level. It was literally like three little roads. It's with a giant arrow. Whack the monkey three times. How do I... Ah, oh, square, okay. Ah, uh, we, like, stop whenever we swing, okay. What? Why is Porky hitting me? He not on our side? Dick. Oh, my God. Stop. What? <laughs> How did you miss that time? You're a dick. Ooh. Is there any like reason for us to collect money? I wonder. Give up already, Daffy One, Monkey Zero. Multicolor car. They knew that shit didn't match from looking. <laughs> uh, maybe the lesson here is don't fuck with your car. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I'm just saying, man, it's awfully sus that you've been pulled over that many Double times in your, what, eight years of driving? <laughs> Maybe ten? I'm ruined. A fabulous fortune Can't remember exactly how old you are, but... Well, guess I'd better go bail him out. Other than how short the levels are, it seems pretty decent. Less than that? Oh, so you didn't get your license early? Okay, so yeah. I mean, that just helps prove my point, though. Because I've been driving for... What? Probably about... Eight? Seven? Seven years now, roughly? Give or take? And again, three. Once wasn't in my car, and it was for a car problem. <laughs> like... Wait, we're doing this again? Why? <laughs> what is this? Costume doors are everywhere. You can use them to get new skills. Oh. Oh, that took some of our money. Okay, so we need money for these things to appear, maybe? Or to use them. <laughs> The hula costume to distract bad guys. That's awesome. Hula long enough and they get dizzy. Okay. Are there like secrets or anything we can be searching for? There is. Oh wait, I knew this. We found one of those already. Like seven Acme bird statues or bird seed. You catch a glimpse of Roadrunner. 
Oh, bro, we got a double jump? I wonder if that's something unique to him. I didn't try in uh, Daffy. I bet they'd let us Wait, can we go like through dead. the door again? Use your hula bunny costume, bug. No, that'll okay. Him up a bit. What about a little Ow. Maybe that'll Bro. <laughs> Okay, we don't have to be that close. Grandmother's car had a crack windshield for ages, as did her last car, and she's never been pulled over for once for it. I've been lucky, never had a cracked windshield. My grandpa had, like, a chip in his, but he got it dealt with before it cracked. Rattle can paint job? Bruh, who the fuck calls it rattle can? Are you gonna help me or not? Part of me makes me think I dead? should leave him in there. Ain't I a uh, I didn't realize the paparazzi would like cause pain. Ouch! And the use your hula bunny costume bug. That'll loosen him up a bit. Uh, I'm afraid I, I can't let you through, fellas. So many outfits, so little time. Come on. Do we have to pay for it again or what about No, thank God. What does this Maybe do? Oh, oh, we can we can roll, much, but only for a short period of time. Triangle do nothing. Okay. I'm not switching now. Mm -hmm. For your Jesus, man. Sounds like it might be about time to get that fixed. They ought to thank their lucky it's not that big of a deal, I guess. I don't know. Is more birds seed? Was that health? I thought it was bird seed. Sometimes I just gotta give the old rabbit legs a break. Huh. Hey, a nickel! I bet we can bounce on those easy. Nothing to see here. Go about your business. So, I mean, there's definitely, like, things to do other than just complete the objective. But is there any real point? Chocobo enthusiast just redeemed hydrate. Why can't I break this one? I need to hit it? Okay, there we go. Is there any point, though, to, like, collecting all the money? I guess maybe if we didn't have any money, we might not have been able to get the hula costume, and then we wouldn't have been able to continue unless we collected more. So by collecting money ahead of, ahead of time, we might uh, have less that we have to do later. Oh, we can run into things. Can we rotate the camera? We can sometimes. A little finicky. Hey, my burrowing friend. I don't suppose you could be a sport and help out an old chum. Standing on soft yeah, ground, press X, there, then press R1. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> press X to stop burrowing. Bro, I'm pressing X. Whatever. Does this look better than Full Metal Alchemist? It really does, though, doesn't it? That's the problem. I was really looking forward to Full Metal, which is the the worst part. Like, but it wasn't. Sadly, was not very good. It was passable at best. Cash grab. Yeah, honestly, that's what it is. It was a pure cash grab. I mean, to be fair, this probably was too, but <laughs> but at least feels like they they did a job with it. You'll fight the desert disappointment. I'm down. Okay, so we have like camera mode, um, or free look, whatever you want to call it. Boom. How do we tear him down? Ah. I wonder if he was wanted before the whole Acme thing. Or yeah, that didn't hurt us. Wanted Any of the other buttons do anything? No. I hope my poor Tweety's all right. 
I'm scared to like walk up to people because I feel like they're all gonna hurt us. She, she seems chill though. Oh, there we go. Okay, we can actually chat to her. Poor things, all alone in a strange place. We'll let you know if we see him. Okay, so she wants Tweety Bird, which makes sense. Wanted for what? Dinner? Finally, my I need some nice stuff for dinner. What? Hey, That's not how we go now. through? Hey, a nickel. How do we... How do we go through, then? The game say something? Bruh, <laughs> how's it not roll? That's clearly a hole. Let me roll through it, damn it. Oh my god. Okay, well... Fuck that arrow then. Jump. Uh. Oh my God! Wait, what For happened? Why did I fall? I feel like jumping on a car. Bro, why are you so obsessed with jumping on the car? Okay. There's got to be like some posters Every up here somewhere, right? Helps. More of the frog statues. Then invisible wall. Oh, yep. Okay. Seems like we're not allowed up there. Here's another one though. I was duck tumbling. Why do we need to pull him out again? Wait, why is he? Oh. Bro, I'm so confused. I have no idea what the hell's going on here. They'll throw us out if they catch us. We better not see no brooks, eh, Porky? Money. Hey, Mash everything, please and thank. Greedy guts. I feel like we need to be going through that door, or the, not door, but the, the thing with the arrow, the very obviously placed, like, some Go here, arrow. I wonder if he was wanted before the whole Acme thing or just after. Ooh, that's Love interesting. Love the repeating sound clips. That's great. Cards. I bet we can bounce on those easy. Ah! By the cops. It's such a nice day to be out, Porky. He's uh, speedy. He's still following us. No, we're good. Five of ten. Toodaloo, boys. Don't quit your night job. Is it just tingling because that's like somewhere we can dig? Oh my god, okay. This is unexpected. I didn't think coins were just gonna pop out of the ground. We go under the trees. No, can we go around them? No. If those guys see us, we are on the fast train to nowhere. Where are these damn though. signs at? All this walking is boring. I want to run. Lopo Gonzalez? I literally don't remember that character. Reverse Mario? Wait, <laughs> what? Because we dive underground instead Sorry, of. False alarm. Oh, that's what. Oh shit. Okay, that was close. That's what we need you know, to do. I'm a lot better at digging than we need to burrow this. under and go under, bro. We could totally have fucking rolled under that. There's more than enough space there. Also, it's hello, Tweety Bird. Feline now. Fuffer and fuck attach. <laughs> Someone done pinned my ears back. Poor puddy cat. Fucked. He gonna die from hunger. <laughs> Not bad. Wait, Everything wasn't his name helps. Speedy Gonzalez? Was it not? Am I thinking of something else? I don't know. Just pretend it's duck food, Doc. Eh, exactly what is duck food anyways? Roll press R1 or running. Roll can be used to bash things. That's handy. That's his go. Oh, wait. <laughs> Bro, the worst part is, I don't know if you're joking or not. <laughs> That's the worst part. Eh. 
Can I like... That doesn't seem like I can grab that shit. Oh, from over there we probably could though. You're not? <laughs> nice, okay. I mean, it's literally Jump. called Looney Tunes. I'm not terribly surprised. Well, as I live and breathe, it's Foghorn Leghorn. Did I lose, like, all Boing. momentum there for a second? Bro, why can't, why can't I not get that? There we go. Go ahead. Make my day. Hey! Ever heard of Sharon? Hmm. Ground pound the buttons? Wanted duck? But that looks nothing like me. Hey, a nickel. Uh, I'm guessing red since we're red, bro. Oh, do we have to get both of them over here to continue? Jump! Okay. That's fair. I wonder if he was wanted before the whole Acme thing or just after. I'm missing two. I say, I say, I'm hungry enough to eat my own feet. I wouldn't suggest it, but I mean, it's up to you, I guess, my guy. Hey, if you want to eat your own feet or not. Sounds uncomfortable. That's all I'm saying. Every little bit helps. I'm rich. Where the fuck am I missing two more of these things at? Oh, shit, there's one right there. Wanted duck? They could have at least got my good side. The other one's probably super obvious too, and oh, I just you're missed as it. Strong as an ox. Just about snort. Hey, chicken man, what's shaking? Yeah, okay. We'll go back in the other area and check, because I'm hey, sure there's chilling in there somewhere. We move faster when we're rolling. I think we do. Make but if we roll too button long, button. then we uh, get stuck in the damn animation of us like coming out of it. You Nothing. want some punk? Cause I bet we can bounce on those easy. All in nothing. Jump. Camera kind of sucks. Pretty sure this is an actual game for children. How am I struggling? Is it up there? Do I have some way to get up there? Whee! Seems almost like we do, but uh, when I like when I come out of a barrow, a burrow, no. Can't go like under, no. Uh, maybe. Not a terrible idea. Damn it. Get me. No. I'm spring -loaded. Same bounce, it seems like. Careful, they'll throw us out if they catch us. When do we go to the Oh shit, shit. hi. Monkey. probably missing it somewhere obvious like right there <laughs> you know like <laughs> that might be the problem how do we get up there then get spotted by the cops we just jump up that high we can 
Next time, lay off the donuts. Can't keep up. Must there we go. That was oh, a lot I'm better hidden than I expected, I'm not going to lie. Hey, a nickel. Now we can get Daffy. If those guys see us, we are on the fast train to Nowheresville. We better not see no crooks, eh, Porky? Look at you go, you long-eared, dirt-moving machine. Bruh, let me out, please. <laughs> I bet any other A-lift celebrity wouldn't have to wait this long. Another victory for Daffy Duck, Monkey Hunter. Hey, okay. you're not a monkey. I must have done something right. Wait, what? Oh, hi. <laughs> I didn't even see the damn thing there. To my collection. <laughs> I lost the diamond! A future of luxury and security! Don't worry, oh. Dev. All we gotta do is check the map screen. Look! <gasps> there he is! Let's see where he lands. <sighs> Look! Paris, France! Gay Paris! City of berets, fondue, and hunchback! You know, in certain parts of Europe, I'm considered a genius. And make it snappy. Uh, uh, take a check. Why, that's highway robbery. Where are we going to get that kind of dough on a Hollywood movie star's salary? Well, there was plenty of money lying around back in there. There was? <laughs> okay, why don't you grab some of that money by yourself, pal? I'll just um, cheer you on, you know, from uh, way back here. Where's the angle is better for survival. If you want a breather, just hit the tune swap button, okay? Sure thing, Dev. You know, we ought to grab all those stray monkeys, too. What with the magic diamond and all, you never know who they could be. I doubt they're anyone important. It's fine. How much would it cost to get a uh, taxi from, I'm assuming, Hollywood to fucking Paris? I mean, it's got to be a pretty advanced taxi, you know? Either it has to be able to fly through the sky or float. Or I guess go underwater, drive underwater. Any of those three would work just fine. Gonna have to get some amazing mileage, too, to be able to make it clear across the ocean. Rendered? Can't be cheap. Use skills to explore. Okay, what is the the change tunes button? <laughs> we we can dance. Okay, so if we stand too long, these bugs are dead. Ah, triangle. Okay. okay. So you can't double jump. Do we have to keep hitting X? Okay, yeah, we can kind of hover if we keep mashing X. You have any other abilities? So you can also roll. Can you burrow? You cannot burrow, but you can ground pound. Sure, I'll do they stay in place? Death. They do. You must be joking if you think I'm letting you try this. Yeah, All right, yeah, so then on, I'm guessing we need to get both get of them like on that button. Over to you, Death. Quit hogging the glory, rabbit. Can he just crawl under since he can't burrow? Also, we got Delicious Tweety back for you. In here. I should never have taken <laughs> my eyes off them. Keep your shirt on, Granny. We'll find him. Okay, well, I guess we didn't technically get Tweety, but we saved Five Tweety. Would we'll have been good it. enough. You just crawl under, maybe? Can't burrow? Or there's more than enough room. Seriously, though. <laughs> this gap's hardly shorter than we are. Um, Crawl? No. Hmm. Sure, I'll give it a go. Hmm. Can we get the... 
<laughs> Bro. <laughs> oh. Well, it's about On the taxi. Time, oh, <laughs> yeah, true. Here comes the B team. You want little old me to go? You must be joking if you think I'm letting you try this. Hacks. Now we'll see <laughs> <real something big. laughs> Who needs black holes when you got glitches, man? <laughs> as soon as I saw that door swing shut right, whenever that I area of the level it. loaded in, I, I was like, I guarantee you. I guarantee we can get through that bitch. And sure enough, man, there we go. Well, <laughs> I have no idea how we were actually supposed to get over here, but it's fun. It's fun. Daffy and Bugs can help each other by standing on their two tune pads. Okay. Cool story. Sure, I'll spell you for a while, Dad. I do want to know what led to us, like, flipping through the ground, though. Also, how bad is it? Can we clip through anything? That's interesting. Or just, like, doors? Okay, now you'll see how it's supposed to be done. Yeah, yeah, keep your shirt on, Buster. You'll get your chance later. Don't be so pushy, Okay, Goyle. yeah, so it just seems like because that door was open, it had some, like, sure, fucked up collision or something. And then maybe every once in a while, the, the ground just stops existing, I guess. I don't, it's fine. But all these things just respawn every time we... Hmm. Maybe at the arrow? Yeah, no, there is the arrow. But I think that's just telling us you know, to do this I'm with Bugs Bunny. Because we can go day. through it with Bugs like that. But Daffy doesn't have the, the burrowing tech. So I'm not sure how hey, Daffy's supposed to stints. get out of that. Now use Acme mailbox to deliver Bugs and Daffy? Oh! That's how we were supposed to get uh, Daffy over here. Get him delivered. Okay, it would feel wrong not collecting the gold bar. Oh, well, hold on. Wait, it's waiting gold. I actually don't... I didn't notice or see, like, how much money that actually gave us, but... Couldn't help but grab it. We glitch through this oh, one. Dear horses, uh, can we not switch the characters Sorry, because Dad, they're, like, too, too close? Busy. Check back later. Huh. Guess not. Wait, no, that doesn't make sense. I wonder why I wouldn't let us switch the character just then. Coffee and candy well, now. About time, you gameplay hog. Maybe. You want me to go? Maybe it was because the game wanted us to like have Daffy mailed over. I bet you that was it. Boing. If we Here switch now, are we back in the other level? Hurry up and get in your bubble. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Now look who it is. Sylvester, I hope if it wasn't for Direct. bad luck, I'd have no luck at all. No cat's gonna get the best of this bird. Nichols! Jesus escapes. So I don't really understand why we keep getting cash just for touching some of these boxes. Wait, are we shooting something? Are we shooting chickens out of an egg? Or wait, <laughs> eggs out of a chicken? No. Well, you showed him. Ha ha! Catch me if you can. Oh, grab. Okay. To throw a hen grenade, press circle. Aim by holding circle. Okay. They fly straight. They they do. They definitely do. Why are we doing this exactly? What does what does this do? Oh. The 
the wall gonna like fall? Oh. Oh, it opened another door for us. I don't even know where that door is. Right here? Ah, oh, just right here. Oh, fuck it. Just keep going. <laughs> Do your carts have gone crazy? Oh, do we get to drive a cart? Please and thank. You ever oh, you're one a of these dick. Games before? That'll do, Craig. I'm bumping like the last check I wrote. Circle? No. Screw you. Bro. <laughs> How do we use the cart? Why would they put this dude here? Hold on. Checkpoint before we die. We like knock him out. Oh, oh nope, he Game caught us. Over. I thought we could get I around him quick fine. enough, but no, really. I sent the fiber to the programmer. <laughs> there, get wrecked. Tell me I gotta wind this Triangle? thing up. No. Oh god, it has to actually load between sure, the levels. I'll spell you for a while, Dave. Why would it not just like automatically teleport the one to the other? Too much convenience. Mm -mm. Can't swap here, Dev. Don't be so pushy, Dev. We can't swap now. Hogging the glory. What are you talking about? We literally you just swapped. One of these games before. No, I don't even know how to get on the thing. Need food. Now you're asking I'm so confused. Time to give my aching feet a rest. Maybe we have to have bugs. To drive sure, the thing. I'll Maybe that's the problem. You'd have to be Daffy Duck not to notice that we're laying groundwork here. Hopefully it works this time. I honestly don't. I have no idea. Jump! Sometimes I just gotta give the old rabbit legs a break. Circle does nothing. Square does nothing. Yeah. R1 just does that. Over to you, Dev. I mean, there's clearly, it's very clearly. It's it's oh, brother. oh my god. Oh, I'm all boo -hooing oh, we can actually kill people? He touched me. He actually touched me. Circle. Don't tell me I gotta wind Circle, this nothing. thing up. How do we wind it up, though? Don't tell me I gotta wind this thing up. I think that voice clip is supposed to mean something to us, but like, it means nothing to me. But same something about Danger Daffy. Oh, maybe there's like a a suit we gotta collect. There's Pete playing in my string section. Booty Cat was always kidding. Him not really gonna eat me. Did you miss your <laughs> the way she just fucking spawned in. Oh my god. <laughs> this game is terrible. It's so bad. I'm it's sure good. I'm enjoying myself, but it's so bad. Oh, that's so kind of you. <laughs> oh, bonus monkey! You saved Tweety from Sylvester. Let's go. Give me all the monkeys, please. All right. So maybe, yeah, maybe Nate is right. That car with a and we need a uh, costume change to be Danger Daffy. But where's like this a costume door? Ah, there we go. Rent the Duck Danger costume for fifty bucks. Yes. Who could ask for anything more? Can't see it, but my foot's tapping a mile a minute here. Somebody call for a We're in the Duck Danger costume. Daffy is invincible and can enter special brave events. Careful, costume rental doesn't last forever. Okay, where's this car? Oh god. Oh god. 16, 15. Bruh. I don't know if I'm gonna make it in time. Eight, seven. We're fine. We got this. Don't tell me I gotta wind this thing up. Wait, what's with the timer? 
Is this like one of the things where like you hand it off to someone and then the bomb blows up? Like hot potato? Are we playing hot potato? Get wrecked. Really wish the camera was a little bit better. You could only play one video game, one game. Not one franchise, one game. You could only play one video game for the rest of your life, what would it be? Ah, oh, fuck. It would have to be something that's like, super replayable, you know? With like, an infinite amount of content. Maybe Mario Maker? Assuming that I still had an internet connection. <laughs> I think Mario Maker would be a pretty decent option. Because, like, infinite lo number of levels. Although, eventually, I guess they're going to, like, shut down the servers, right? And then once they shut down the servers, then you're kind of in a bad spot. So there is that. Um... I mean, I... I don't know, Minecraft wouldn't be a terrible option. Um, I think it's safe to assume that the game you pick lasts like forever, you know? <laughs> like the servers for it last forever. Because if not, then you'd be in a real tough spot. Civ is not a bad choice. Honestly, Civ is a very playable game. The matches last forever. That's not a bad choice. You don't need servers or anything for it to run. Like, That's a really good one, honestly. I would have to say like Mario Maker or something, assuming what I said. Finally, I get to but if if we're for forgetting while. that rule, you want little old me to go? I wouldn't want it to be a story-based game. Hey, a nickel. Because like sooner or later you would do everything, and then there would be nothing left to do. It could be some sort of roguelike game, maybe. Because, you know, constant, like, changes and everything. Keeping it unique, keeping it interesting. So, like, a, a Binding of Isaac or something, maybe. But without updates, sooner or later, you would do everything in that game, too. I don't know... <laughs> I don't know if I can come up with anything better than Civ. Wait, where'd he go? I was too busy getting the thing. What is this? Oh, more bird seed, okay. Get wrecked? We have to hit him three times again like we did the other time. Yeah, I guess so. Dreamscape was that that uh PlayStation game where you could like make games in the game? Like Ro Roblox, but for adults and PlayStation? What the fuck, camera? Oh, it was an explosion. I've never actually played it, if that's what it is. I don't, if that's not what it is, I don't know what else Dreamscape would be. <laughs> Looks like another job for bugs. The water tower. Yeah, okay, I see the arrow. Oh, fuck. I always struggle to just even remember, like, games I enjoy. There's, like, all the Mario games, of course. Um. But I don't think I'd want that to be the only game I ever played. I could play them a lot, especially with, like, speedrunning and stuff being a thing. But to be the only game I could ever play again, I think that'd be a bit much. Um, Final Fantasy games, like I said, anything story-based I think would get old after a little while. 
Although with like challenge runs and things, you could have fun with them for a long time. But I don't know about forever. Um Witcher 3 forever <laughs> the only game said so for me like any story based game like Skyrim and stuff like that I don't think I could do it Warning rabbits can't swim Oh Jesus Christ <laughs> Bro why did the control suddenly get so bad Oh god Oh, they sink after a second. That makes sense. Oh, <laughs> okay, hold on. Can we swap to Daffy or no? I guess not. Oh, thank God. Checkpoint. I'll just get lost exploring and playing Glint. <laughs> I mean, I've played a lot of Skyrim before, like, that very reason, you know? Just get stuck exploring and doing random shit. But other than completing the story, I don't feel like there's much more for me to do in a game like, you know, Skyrim. Oh, these ones are weird. Okay. You know, so I feel like it would be the same for something like The Witcher eventually. It would have to be, for me, a game that's either... You know what? It could be like RimWorld, I guess. There you go. That's a that's a game that I could play for literally ever, right? Like RimWorld or Dwarf Fortress. Something that has randomly generated content. Or user generated content. But assuming, you know, real life rules still apply and that things like servers will eventually be shut down. I think it would have to be, for me, not stealing Chocobo's answer, I think it had to be RimWorld. Bro. Oh. <laughs> I know you are, but for some reason it won't let me switch to you. Out to lunch, I can't swap now. Mm -mm. Can't swap here, Daff. How are you gonna say, come on, Daff, I'm specially designed for stuff like that, but then not let me switch to you either. But I was so young and handsome. Looks like quality, but it's full of cardboard and putty. And that's just the Possibly a game like City Skylines as well. Something like that, you know? Just a city builder that I really enjoy. Maybe even like Stardew Valley, just because I love Stardew Valley so fucking much. Looks like quality, even though it's not like randomly generated. People. You know, I could play a shit ton and like do it different ways each time, challenge runs. I do think eventually though, I'd run out of stuff to do. Starcraft, oh yeah, any kind of like strategy Who game. The old, um... Ideas? Wouldn't you like to know? Uh, Red Alert games. I used to love Red Alert. I mean, my cousin used to play them all the time. That would be a lot of fun. I still think for me personally, I'd rather do like RimWorld. Forever. Because of like the random story generator and shit like that. You would have unique like... Experiences each time with characters dying in different hilarious ways and all that garbage. Or maybe just eventually get good at the game. And actually quote unquote win. Winning in that type of game is very subjective. It depends on what your goals are, but... I mean, there is technically a win condition, right? Getting everybody off or becoming royalty or whatever. Getting everybody off the planet, I guess I should specify. You're not, <laughs> you're not trying, you're not just trying to ha get everybody to, you know, <laughs> have an orgasm. That's, <laughs> I mean, I guess if that's how you want to play the game, <laughs> there's no wrong way, right? <laughs> it's up to you to decide. <laughs> but like, oof. Mods? Yeah, see though, I was working under the assumption that like game servers and mods and stuff like that would eventually stop for all that stuff, you know? Because otherwise my first answer would be my answer, like Mario Maker. 
you know, infinite, infinite number of user-generated content forever. And Mario is just one of my favorite games. There's multiple different like uh, play styles and Mario Maker. Oh, the getting off thing. <laughs> I mean, look, I wouldn't be surprised if there's like a masturbation mod or something. I mean, there is sex. There is legitimately sex in the game. But like, uh, yeah, anyways, <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if there's a mod speci specifically geared to that sort of thing. One of my favorite mods, um, because in like RimWorld you can use like body parts and stuff of course. One of my favorite mods includes reproductive organs as uh, body parts that you can lose. <laughs> so then you can actually like, you know, <laughs> lose your, <laughs> your reproductive organs and then you won't be able to have children. <laughs> like, good times. Sure, I'll give it a go. Oh, hey, there's how we get up there. Catch that monkey before he escapes? I'll try. Sounds like you're asking a lot from me right now, though. Ribbit. Hey, another five cents. The fuck? Effie can flutter across great distances. Flutter, jump, press X, and then repeatedly. Okay, so can Maybe we switch? I take my act solo. Bruh, how are there paparazzi up here? Pretty sure we're like tripping on acid right now. Hurry I don't think this is real. Wait, what? Oh, we must have to mail them. Finally, Fuck, I still I don't know how that works. <laughs> we never figured out how to mail. We smack it? Ah, there we go. Hey, controller hog. Why don't you let I'm gonna say Tekken, but it pissed me off too much, but you do have over 700 hours in Tekken 7. I couldn't do it, man. I couldn't do it. I like fighting games, but not that much. I mean, if you think of, like, speedrunners and things, you know, the number of hours they have in games are just ungodly. It's like, and that's why I say maybe Mario games in general. Like, just get really good at speedrunning it. But without, like, a following. Although, I guess there was no rule that... Oh, fuck. That we couldn't die. I, I guess there was no rule that you couldn't, like, stream the game or play the game with friends or whatever, right? Just playing fucking, like, Mario forever. Mario 3 or Super Mario World. Probably World if I had to play one forever. Nostalgia has me liking three more, but legitimately I think World is the better game. Are we trying to hit this one or are we just chasing it to the end? Oh my god, you're such a dick. Hold on. I'll get you in a second, monkey. Need to kill this dude first. Can we just knock him <laughs> off? Kind of. No, you dick. It's not game over. Bruh, he's. Okay. Nice work, Dad. Get back down to Earth safely. Use the stairs. That's fair. Lead all the challenges in Warner Brothers Studio. Return to map screen. Yes? Sure. I didn't even realize, like... <laughs> I know they made the joke about the map screen earlier, but I didn't realize that was a thing we could, like, actually open and do anything with, though. So we might have been able to leave this area forever ago, I guess. Uh... Oh... Okay, so I guess that answers our question from earlier. You need $2,000 to get to Paris by taxi from, again, a s presumably 
Um, hold on. I guess this one. I don't know. Which one has like the most money available? Is that even saying? Oh, yeah, to get to Paris from Hollywood by taxi. That's, <laughs> fuck. My mind's dead. I'm very tired today. If I had this game like as a kid, I think I would have enjoyed it. It's fun. It's just glitchy and kind of bullshit sometimes. <laughs> but like, but it's not a bad game Did you ever at get all. Get the feeling you was being rendered. Sometimes, sometimes I get the feeling I'm being rendered. Ooh, that's interesting. Sorry, folks. Bugs has left the building. Thanks for all your support through the years. You want some punk? Hey, no, I just oh, oh. Ah, ah, okay, wrong button. I'm innocent, I tells you, innocent. I didn't even know this guy actually like would try to catch us. I'm spring loaded. I'm rich. Sometimes I just gotta give the old rat legs a break. If those guys see us, we are on the fast train to Nowheresville. Oh, some of these boxes like bounce us in a specific direction. Go get him, he's a speedy. Go get him. Don't matter, you can't get away. What is going on? Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, sure, whatever. <laughs> I thought the game like glitched out and we got frozen or something. No, it's just letting us know that we could travel now. Load the next level. That's fair. Fuck. I'm good. Don't mind me. Just dying a little bit. That's all. Uh, Perry, please. Blackjack bashing? Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Did I tell you guys about uh, one of the presents that I got from Noodle? It's the uh, Game Boy Operator is the actual name of it. Made by a company called Epilogue. Really cool. It's only 50 bucks, so it's not terribly expensive. And uh, basically it's just a cart reader. For the computer hey, now we can afford and it comes it. with like a bundled Ooh, emulator Quasimodo or emulators for like game boy game boy color and game boy advanced games it's cool it's peril, as in lets you like read your games check if they're the for for uh real carts or bootlegs play your games of course back up your saves so transfer saves Everybody from computer to cart all that stuff and the Pretty giant cool. shiny valuable <laughs> diamond what are we waiting for? We got a world to save. Move it. Move it. Paris, Jeeves. I'll probably still use my analog you whenever we get around to playing Game Boy games French. on PC. Um, but yeah, technically we could use that. Noodle, thank you for the 50, or for the 50 fits, for the five bits. <laughs> I, I was trying to say five and red nifty hey, from Nate there at the same time. <laughs> so I got a little, I got a little turned around. It is, it's really nice. Um, I might even show it off here in a second. I mean, I have like the, no, you definitely gave enough love. You've given more than enough, thank you. Okay, hold on, pause this. I think we're done with the game anyways. I'm pretty sure we've seen what the game is already. Uh, just gonna unplug it here. I have it. Oh God, the USB-C port's kind of tight. There we go. So this is all the device <laughs> itself is, right? It's real small. It's just a little weight. A little cart reader and a couple chips and then a USB-C reader on it there. Um, and then the carts just go in the top, right? Like so, like that. And then, so you can back up the games so that you, you know, have digital copies for whatever you want to have digital copies for. And then, ugh, get that plugged back in. Let me load up the software here. Um, uh, loading, loading, loading. Oh, that's right. I whatever. That's fine. It's load. I launched it through Steam because that's how I have my shortcut set up. Anyways, whatever. And then 
grab the right window here. Grab it. Uh, like, do screen cap. I might need to do screen cap. Mm, no, okay. I think I need to do... Plus... Cap. One. Uh, okay. <laughs> Hold on now. One sec. I have to... Get it to fit here. That's like full screen. Uh, aha, there we go. There we go. <clears throat> so that's what the, the software looks like there. Right, it's just the, it's a little, a simple little screen here with like your settings and support to like download updates and stuff. Um, can also, like it works with all kinds of game pads. You can also use the keyboard, of course, but who the hell would use the keyboard for that sort of thing? Uh, and then if you take, you know, your game, like Pokemon Red here, and pop it in, and after it takes a second to detect what game, then the game pops up. And if you go to data, then here you can like back up the game, you can back up your save, you can upload your save. If you have a flash cart, not a uh, SD based flash cart, but like a normal flash cart, you can upload um, homebrew to the cart to play on a real console using this as well. And the software tries to figure out automatically what kind of like cartridge it is and then like make it all work for you and everything like that, which is really cool. And then if I grab my Xbox controller that I have linked to my PC here, and turn that on and then we can click start and you can see it uses the mgba emulator but then it launches the game basically it just reads the cartridge makes a temporary rom rom file and then runs it in an emulator that's all it is it's not doing anything like super fancy right it's just reading the the rom um and playing it in an emulator but it's still cool that you can like pop it in and then it grabs the save file off the cartridge for you um so that you're like playing on your save file right and then if you actually save the game at whatever point then it will actually write the save to the cartridge right because it just updates it just uploads the save to the cartridge basically because again everything's just running an emulator here and then it just uses software to download the game from the cartridge whenever you first start playing and then every time you save it detects a change in the save file and sends it back to the cartridge for you so then after you do your stuff, you can just, you know, quit here by pressing uh, escape. And yes, I'm sure I want to quit. And then you're back to, you know, the screen here. And then you can just take that game out. And then you can pop in other stuff. And then, like I said before, it can detect bootlegs, which is cool. So if I take my obviously very real copy of Pokemon Yellow that I was given, if I pop that in here... Unknown title by unknown developer. <laughs> Unofficial cartridge. Um, and it is marked as a rewritable cartridge. So I could probably... I don't want to fuck with it because I actually want to play Pokemon Yellow at some point. And that's the only copy of Pokemon Yellow I have right now. Um, but I could probably uh, put whatever homebrew I wanted onto the game and play it off there. It doesn't just work with Game Boy games. It also does work with uh, Game Boy Color games. If I grab the Harry Potter game here, right? If I grab the Harry Potter game and put it in, it'll pop up again after it loads. Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. There you go. And it'll play that. And it also works with Game Boy Advance games. So if I take our little tiny Final Fantasy Tactics Advance game here and pop that in, and hey, there you go. Final Fantasy Tactics Advanced. And same thing. Everything works the same way. It just reads the game off the cartridge, makes a ROM file of it. And then once it has the ROM file, it just runs it in a uh, emulator, presumably MGBA.
same as the the other one and then you can just play it on pc whatever this is you want it tell me how to get it it's called uh the game boy operator or gb operator they can't call it game boy obviously and it's sold online by a company called epilogue um they plan on making more of these like cartridge readers for pc eventually but they haven't yet so far they've only done the game boy operator yeah i can send a link real quick um i've only had mine for a handful of days but i love what the company has done so far and like even though technically it's just playing rom files right it's just an emulator i like the whole package and i like still being able to like use the cartridge and then being able to like back up your saves is really cool so like my uh pokemon or i'm sorry yeah my pokemon trading card game since i've beaten this game since i finished it I uh, backed up the save, like, of my completed game off my cartridge, which is cool. If I ever have to replace the batteries in one of these, I can use this to back up the save, replace the battery, which normally would wipe the save, and then I can uh, flash the, the save back to the cartridge afterwards, so that's nice. Um, and even though the emulation isn't as good as something like on the analog, it's still, you know... It's just a nice, complete package, and it's much more attractively priced than something like the analog. Right, the analog pocket is two hundred and fifty-ish dollars plus shipping and whatnot. This thing's fifty dollars. It's a lot better priced, <laughs> a lot better priced. That's uh, that's just the company website there, um, for the Epilogue website. Like I said, right now the only thing they have is the GB operator. Hopefully, events eventually they do get around to. I th I don't know. I was reading somewhere about which one they planned on doing next. I want to say it was Super Nintendo. I don't remember. Um, but anyways, yeah, really cool little device, man. Probably still going to use the analog for actually playing games on stream because it's more true to life. Um, it's still technically emulation, but it's hardware emulation, not software emulation. Not getting into all that BS. But uh, yeah, still. It is really cool. I really enjoy it. It's a nice thing. Plus the price of the tracker you have to put on the analog. My god, dude. I really... I've just decided not to take this one anywhere. Except for, like, whenever I go on vacation. Like, to the cabin or whatever. I'm just not taking it to work anymore or anything like that. Because that is, uh... Fuck. <laughs> I wish there was a little bit more room inside. I would hide, like, an air tag or something in it. But, uh... Anyways. Yeah. This is a really cool thing. Uh, these are not my saves, by the way. These are the saves that came with it, with the, the cartridge, because obviously I bought it used, so I've never played Advanced before. I have no idea what any of this stuff is going on right now. Um, I'm just clicking buttons because, yeah, we're getting off for the night, and <laughs> I'm stalling, basically. That's it. I mean, they've only done, like, what was it, two battles, I think it said, so. Yeah, two missions so far. It's not much. Not much. How do we, like, actually go in these areas? Info available. Hanging up. Charm ice. What? Ah, here we go. I'm assuming this is pretty early in the game based off the fact they only did, like, two things. So I don't think this will be, like, too spoilery for us or anything like that. But anyways, yeah, it's still nice. And I have played a tiny bit of Pokemon Red on it. It seems to work well, but Game Boy emulation has been in a really good spot for a long time. So no surprises there. And it's uh, honestly a very simple device. Um, I was actually, originally I was considering buying, there's an open source project <clears throat> that can read basically every cartridge. Um, like Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, Sega Genesis, Nintendo, Super Nintendo, N64, etc. Every major console cartridge, or handheld cartridge at least, except for I think the DS and Switch. I don't think it does either one of them. But anyways, uh, I considered buying all the parts and building one of them. It would have cost a fair bit more, around like $200 I think, but it would have done everything. But I just like the software package that this one comes with is really nice, and I like what they're doing as a company, so... I decided to tell Noodle, like, hey, this is a thing that I've been looking at for a while. Um, didn't want to spend the money on it for myself right now. But if you want to get it for me for Christmas, then by all means. And uh, she did. So 
a lot of thanks to her. Thank you, love. I uh, really like the device. Yeah. <laughs> I appreciate it. It's really cool. And uh, I've already got a bit of use out of it in the past couple of days. And I'm sure I'll get a, uh, a lot more. Especially as my collection of Game Boy and et cetera games grow. You know. Even though... Yeah, <laughs> there's not a ton of games that I'm focused on getting for, like, the Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance. Um, but, like, the Pokemon games, obviously. And there are definitely a handheld or a handful of other handheld games I want to get. Uh, the Final Fantasy ports, I want. I would love to have them at some point. Kingdom Hearts, um, Chain of Memories. I really want the, uh, like, Game Boy version or Game Boy Advance version of the game because I've heard it's actually a lot better than the PS2 version. Uh, I would love to get that. I probably said Pokemon already, but po po Pokemon Shantae. I would love to get like an actual physical cartridge of Shantae instead of playing the uh, the port that I have on, what's it on, on Switch or something? I don't remember. But anyways, yeah, I just wanted to show that off because I thought it was cool. Much better, never played GBA version. I've only ever played like a tiny bit of it. Um, a friend that I had in middle school, high school era had it on Game Boy. I've only ever personally owned the PS2 version. Um, but that's what I've read is that the Game Boy version is much better. I think also I was watching a uh, speed run one time of a guy playing the Game Boy Advance version. He was talking about how like the community has more or less decided that the Game Boy Advance version is the superior version. You just don't get, like, as much story stuff or whatever, but. But gameplay-wise, much better. And I think the battle system is much more suited for something like a Game Boy Advance than uh, than the PS2. Honestly, I feel like it was a very weird port, but I guess they just wanted to keep everything together as much as possible. I don't know. Also, it has fast-forward. I don't know if it has save states. I mean, MGBA definitely supports game states, or game states, save states, but I don't know, like, I don't know, that's just, like, a normal rebind. Yeah, I don't know if, like, using MGBA through this here actually supports games, or save states. Why do I keep calling it game state? Um, yeah, I don't think it does. Which is just kind of weird for it to be missing, you know, as an option. Like, I don't know. Art's keeping everything together after making fans chase one game per console after two. <laughs> Look, I mean, they did well on the PS2 era, right? Outside of the uh, the mobile game. One and two were both on PS2. They ported Chain of Memories to PS2. And then it got really bad <laughs> after that, you know? Then it was just mobile title. Mobile title on other system. Mobile title on other system, um, actual mobile title, and then finally, <laughs> uh, the epilogue <laughs> to Kingdom Hearts 3, or prologue to, to Kingdom Hearts 3, sorry, and then Kingdom Hearts 3 on a different system. Like, that's all. <laughs> just, just shit got weird after Chain of Memories slash 2, uh, re-Chain of Memories slash 2. That's all. Oh, uh, fuck. Anyways. I think your boy's gonna go to bed. Well, uh, tomorrow we're gonna be playing God of War. I already dug it out of my, my totes of PS2 games. It's sitting over there uh, by my PS2, so we can get that game started. We'll be playing through that to, uh, I almost said to completion, at least to finish it. Not necessarily doing a 100% run. I've done it before. We will probably be doing whatever the hardest difficulty you can play from the beginning is. Um... If I remember correctly, God of War 1 and 2 on the PS2, you had to beat once to unlock the absolute hardest difficulty. So probably just like one step up or whatever. Uh, it's been a long time since I've actually played played God of War 1 and 2. So it probably won't go particularly well. <laughs> I'm sure we'll die a bit. Um, but it's a relatively short game. So three-ish streams, I, I imagine, should do it. Even with uh, having it on the harder difficulty and hopefully some memory comes back of the game. So I don't get stuck on any puzzles for too long or anything. I have beaten that game at least like four, five times, um, including a couple costume runs. 
I love that whenever I was a kid playing through the game, getting all the secrets and uh, then being able to play as like, um, I don't remember the names for him. They had some ridiculous ones, but there was like one of him as a businessman, if I remember correctly. There was like an Iron Chef one. Uh, there was the cow. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was a cow. Was there a fish one? I feel like there might have been a fish one. In Kingdom Hearts 2, you could use the uh, the God of War armor, the what's his name, Ares armor, as a uh, as a costume. Like, love that shit, man. It was a really cool thing as a kid to be able to like play through the game again in a new game plus mode, but with weird quirks like being a fucking cow, but having extra health or infinite uh, magic or whatever the case may be. The Hydra demo blew your fucking mind as a kid, but the whole game blew my mind as a kid. Once I played God of War 1, I was addicted. It was really good. It didn't have that problem that Kingdom Hearts 1 had for me, you know, <laughs> where Kingdom Hearts 1, I didn't really care for it the first time I played it, but it grew on me over time. God of War, like, from the moment I tried it, I was just like, this is, this is fucking it, dude. <laughs> like, really glad my granddad never saw me playing that game, though, because I don't think he would have let me <laughs> play it at all. I'm honestly surprised, like, my mom let me play it as a, as a kid. I started playing it when I was probably, like... 13 ish something like one but um yeah i don't think if she knew like what the game actually was she would have let me play it really my granddad definitely not would not have been a fan at least of me playing it i don't think he would have stopped me he was pretty chill but yeah <laughs> it's fine in hearts one is your second favorite in the series uh for me it's a toss-up between birth by sleep and one for second favorite game in the series um, I do enjoy Birth by Sleep a fair bit. I don't really care for playing through the game three times with three different characters. Um, but other than that, I, I think it's a really good one. Uh, but I really... Kingdom Hearts 2, obviously, is top tier. Um, and Kingdom Hearts 1, I love, don't get me wrong. But, yeah. Birth by Sleep messed me up, bro. I want Terra alive. I... Uh, uh, uh. It's fine. Play the other six games in the series and you'll find out what happens. It's okay. It has a, a somewhat decent ending for Terra. I'm just saying. Terra's story isn't done after Birth by Sleep, at least. It's, I don't think you'll like the ending for it, at least. But at least, like, they didn't just forget about him, you know? Toss him to the side or anything like that. And he's still... He's still there, in a way. <laughs> I mean, the whole story for Kingdom Hearts is kind of, you know... What happens to him, but fuck, I want him to be himself again. Maybe Kingdom Hearts 4, man. Maybe. <laughs> Five tops, you know. But we have to get the next 20 uh, spin-off titles. First. We've only had one spin-off title since, uh, since Kingdom Hearts 3, so... We need to wait for a couple more to come out. Or wait, did... No, no. The other spin-off title. What the fuck's it called? Because there's Melody of Memories. Um... Or Memories of Melodies, whatever the fuck it's called. But there's, like, the new mobile one or whatever that's coming out, if it hasn't already. So, we've only had two spinoff titles so far. <laughs> Gotta get a couple more in there before we can get Kingdom Hearts 4 and 5, and and then maybe we'll figure out what happens to Terra by then. <laughs> or we'll come back or whatever. I mean, my mind's dead. I'm tired. It's gonna be it for us tonight, guys. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow. God of War tomorrow, 5.30ish Eastern time. Had to remember where I lived. Uh, <laughs> hope to see you guys there. Have a good night. And as always, be kind to each other. Bye, y'all. <laughs> and thank you, love. So, what is she? She I is... Yeah.